I'm Neymar, and these are my new boots. Cut. Go? Okay. I'm Neymar, and these are... No. Welcome, everybody, to another YouTube video. A little unboxing slash... Uh, well, I mean, actually, I don't know what this video is going to be about, really. It's more of a rant, uh, I would say. I'm going to show you guys the boots, and then give my opinion on some things all right so let me let me just pull out the boots we'll talk about those right away and here they are these are the new uh neymar i guess vapor 13 his own signature colorway um as you can see they are inspired by like um racing so there's like the flag um it's got um, his number on it you can see my shirt um, he's got his number he's got the whole sh logo um, you know that's been his like more recent type campaign that he's promoting um, I, I guess he's trying to silence his haters um, I don't know um, it also has um, uh, the spray paint for the hyper hyper venom uh, because in the 2014 World Cup, the gold colorway that they made for him, he said he used to spray paint his boots gold, which I can relate to. Maybe not gold, but I did um, do some white, and it was terrible. Um, and then it just says, Engineer to the exact specifications of Neymar de Silva Santos Jr. Right there, as you can see. Um, and yeah, just a cool little concept. Um, the Mercurial logo. I think there was something has to do with his family. I don't know. I think the five in the back is maybe for the five stars World Cup wins that Brazil has. And then the crowns is, I think that's something about his family. I don't know. Basically, a cool shoe. Um, it's silver. It's more silver than you can imagine. Um, like then you can see in pictures bottom is still the same nothing different but that's what I wanted to talk about so this is a great looking shoe something that maybe you would design yourself or, or something like that and it's a great looking shoe but I just feel like I don't know how well or how long even Nike continue to do this by just releasing the same shoe in a different colorway for players um i i just i i don't know if it's gonna last uh very long because are people really going to keep buying these and they're just a different color i mean it could work but it couldn't it could backfire on them because for me i only purchased the boots because I get them at a discount. There's no way I would be buying multiple pairs if I wasn't getting a discount. Um, so my thing is, I think they need to do something different. Um, maybe just have one color of, um, let's say a Mercurial Superfly, then give certain colors to just that player and they wear them exclusively. So let's say you have 10 players who are gonna wear the Mercurial or the Superfly. Give eight of those players the new colorway. They have to wear those. Then have one player have a signature colorway and then another player have another signature colorway. Something different. I like this. This is a little bit, they do add some more stuff than say the Ronaldo edition or, or, or something like that. So they actually do add more things to the Neymar uh, signature, but then they're raising the price and we know that it's nothing different. This is, I'm not going to get a different feel from wearing this. If I close my eyes and had a, a regular Mercurial on my foot or one of these, I don't, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, so see Nike does that with basketball a lot, um, where they create, you know, certain signatures and then other people wear them. So maybe if you just want to create this and then let other people wear them. A lot of people wear, if you're familiar with basketball, the Paul Georges, the Kyries, the LeBrons, you know. Um, so I think in order for this 
to keep going like this you can't release five or six different colors plus two signature uh, limited edition or something like that because I just don't know how long that's gonna be able to continue or how, how long people are gonna accept that you know I already feel people are already kind of against the whole uh, Mercurio uh, Vapor and then the Mercurio Superfly being the same boot almost and just with a little bit higher mid cut which is now even lower it's it didn't it obviously hasn't worked if you're going to create something that has a higher a mid whatever you want to call it and then your star player wants it lowered and is customizing or getting them custom for himself lowered and then you have to lower them because people are catching on to that why not just keep this revamp you know put the put the uh, super fly away for a little bit keep the mercurial going do signature colorways if you want, uh, stuff like that. And then bring back the Superfly in a year or two when you have really found something different or got something different about it. Uh, that's just my opinion because it's the same exact shoe. Um, there's nothing different from the Mercurial uh, Superfly 7 to the Vapor 13 as far as you know, feeling just a higher collar. And you're paying more for that even like so maybe either the prices need to change or they just need to do something different because i don't i don't people aren't going to keep buying into this and 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 they're not if you look at their sales they're not selling uh sad to say that today i actually went and returned the tech craft uh because it just wasn't anything that i could see justify paying the $160 for and because it's not that different of a boot I expected more of it sure but it just didn't you know satisfy my needs and what I want and I love leather boots like I said but if it's pretty bad if I'd rather put on a premiere uh, versus a uh, vapor whether it's leather or not so I just feel that Nike needs to do something different because just having a different colorway it's not gonna cut it or adding some uh, per, uh, logos that's it's it's not it's not gonna work for very long and then that's maybe it needs to happen that way so then they can totally change or do something different we obviously they listen to people because they got rid of the swoosh on the front for some colorways so and going forward they're not doing that no more so I guess if we just complain or you know keep if we're not satisfied with stuff and let them know maybe they'll do something about it i don't know what do you guys think to me it's not worth it just buying a shoe for a different color or you even got to pay extra just because it's a neymar a, a cr7 or or eventually maybe an mbappe something like that like and it's cool that they let you you know id they push that the id this time around but even that is you know a, a more expensive price as well so i think nike is dropping the ball a little bit in that regards because they have a chance to do something different it was nice that they put him at first in the in the phantom um hyper venom uh sorry and it, it, it just didn't it didn't work out he didn't like it and then we all know that he had shoes disguised as the hyper venom but were just vapors um but so yeah so I don't know what do you guys think I feel they should cut down on the colors and then make everybody wear that color or just have you know people wear the signature models of, of, of those players and I feel that might do that might help a little bit I know probably people don't want to be wearing Neymar shoes on the field or or CR7s or, or anything like that but but then that's why you limit one color everybody wears a black pair or everybody wears a blue pair you know a color that's released maybe you have two but let that go on for a few months let it go on let it drag on because then maybe maybe if if someone has the black pair or the blue pair that came out for a year and there's not a new colorway maybe they'll go and buy this color before the year is up or something and then you release another color but i guarantee those released in july the vapors july august and i bet September is right now so then October 
well, November, there's probably going to be a new colorway. And then those are going to be old. And I don't know if, you know, they're turning over that, that quick. I don't know if people are really buying that fast. Um, and then they end up in your outlets, your factory stores at a cheap price, terribly cheap price. You know, when they go for 275 250 and then they're down to $59.99 and then you can even get them with a discount. You know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing because people can grab um, their shoes for cheap, but it also looks bad from, from a sales point if you're looking at it like you're, you're made, you made these shoes to sell at a certain price point and they're not and they're just sitting. So I don't know. Maybe I should go to corporate and, and talk to them because whoever's running their soccer department, it's just, it's just dropping the ball big time. I don't know. I, maybe they think that people want colors and colors and colors, but that's what they have the customization. They should be able to allow people to do any color they want, to do whatever they want to the shoe, and then that might be a better option and release one to two or three colorways for a whole year before they release something else. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but this is definitely a cool shoe. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Because, like I said, I already have the two other ones. And, but it looks kind of cool. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. If this gets 10 likes, I will keep it. If it gets less than that, then I'll return them. But yeah, so... Thank you for watching. Sorry about the rant, but I just expect more out of the company that I work for, out of the company that I expect a lot of out of and big things. So if I feel they're dropping the ball, I feel they're dropping the ball. Thanks for watching. Rant over. See you guys in the next one. Peace.